Hi, my name is Annika, I'm a medical student, and welcome back to Envisioning Your Path with Dr. Andrew Lee. Today we're tackling a tough but important topic, which is what to do if you don't match and need to reapply. Dr. Lee, what advice do you have for students navigating this challenge with confidence and resilience? Yeah, so that is called the plan B. And the match rate for US seniors is 70%. So just going into it, your chances are good, knowing nothing about you. And if you just do a little bit of investment in your application, even if you don't match, you're that 30%, you can reapply. The match rate for the reapply is a lot less, but there are ways to make it higher. So as you've seen in the other videos probably, you need to figure out where you are in this bell curve of applicants. And the reasons for people not to match are different depending on whether you're in one of these groups. So the most common reason for this group right here, the lowest tier group to not match, is their score. So the step two score that we're looking for is 254 or above. You'd like to be AOA and gold humanism and have honors grades in medicine and surgery. We would like to have a portfolio of volunteerism, leadership, and have had some research. So that is what a top tier applicant looks like. And if you're in this low scoring group, the plan B for this person is dual apply. Of course, I never tell people not to apply, even if I know they're in this group because there's still a chance. The match rate for this group right here is 30%. Dual apply is safer for this group. I never dissuade them from saying they wanna do a research here to try twice. But if you've tried twice and you're in this group right here, that you probably should switch. The middle group, the most common reason for this middle group not to match is not enough interviews. We need seven interviews by Halloween, 12 by Thanksgiving, 15 total. We know that the average number of unmatched applicants interviews is four. And we know that if you get seven, you're probably gonna match. If you get 12, for sure you're gonna match. And if you get 15, it's just a matter where you're gonna match. So these metrics have to be met for this person right here. If we don't get the numbers and this person doesn't match, their plan B is a year of research, reapply. So this person here doesn't need a dual apply um, as the backup plan B, it, it, they just need more interviews. This is the hardest one. The top tier candidate who doesn't match now, sometimes that's because not enough interviews because they didn't apply to enough programs. But we always tell everybody to do 80 programs no matter which tier they are. The most common reason for that person right there who is AOA, has good grades, and didn't match, that's about 5% of the people have, are AOA and have top scores. They should have matched. It's not the number of interviews. It is the number of interviews. Either they were perceived as aloof or disinterested, and that person... Their plan B is become a better interviewee. And so those people, we send them off to Dale Carnegie course, to, to Toastmasters. We have a program that allows them to improve their interview skills and, and be a better candidate. I don't tell them to do a apply. They might do the research here while they're waiting for the next application cycle, but this person needs interview school skills. And so your plan B depends on which tier you are. It could be dual apply, it could be research and reapply, it could be that just, you just need a little help presenting yourself and selling your product better. Anyway, you need to have a plan B no matter which tier you're in. But the, um, the amount of detail that you have in plan B, high for A, medium for B, and I tell them you have to have one, but it doesn't have to be very fleshed out if you're a C.